everybody, my name is Allie Nickerson and in this video we're going to be going over the basics of Jamboard. So we're going to start by going to jamboard.google.com. So here are all of your recent Jamboard presentations, they're called jams. So all of your recent jams are going to show up here and we can always click down here at the little plus button to start a new jam. So here is our untitled jam, so we could call this whatever we want. To give you an idea of Jamboard, Jamboard is a collaborative way for people to all work on the same document and brainstorm ideas or get thoughts out. So I'm going to show you actually with the Jamboard reflection that you're all going to be using. So that way we can learn how to use Jamboard on the Jamboard that you are all using. So the reason that I chose Jamboard over forms or slides or anything like that was I want all of you to be able to collaborate on here. So all of you will be on this Jamboard presentation working together. So depending on which videos you watched, if you go through the different frames here, at the top we have all of the different frames. So you can see all the different ones that you could be working on. So let's say that I watched Google Forms for assessment. Then I can go on here and I can type, I can draw, I can add links, I can add pictures, and basically have a brain dump. So over here I'm going to show you the tools. So off to the left you have a bar and I'm going to show you all of the different tools that you have access to. So the first one is the drawing tool, so you can have a pen, a marker, a highlighter, or a brush. So I'm going to use the pen tool and I'm going to write in black. And I'm on a Chromebook and students have Chromebooks as well so they can use a stylus or their finger to write here. So I'm gonna say for Google Forms. For, I'm going to say that it's useful for data collection, maybe I want to put a star because I watched this video, or I can put a star next to anybody else's ideas if I agree with them. Now off to the left under that we have an eraser so we can erase all of this. I also have my little pointer tool here, so with that tool I can click on things, I can drag things. Over here I have my sticky note tool, so if I wanted to type instead. Now I have a sticky note that I can put around. If I wanted to upload an image, so say I had a screenshot of how my Google form was looking, I could add an image onto the Jamboard. You can add different shapes as well. So here we have a circle, but you could have any of these shapes. Maybe I want to agree with the sticky note, so I'm going to rotate. I really want some emphasis on this. You could add a text box. And then you have a little bit of functionality up here too with the font color. And then down here you have your little laser tool so if you're presenting or if you're talking in a small group you can say oh yeah right here I really agree with that that's great it really is useful for data collection and you have your little laser pointer. So you can get really creative with your Jamboards and when you're all done talking about it you can clear the frame and I actually set the background as this Google Forms for assessment by taking a screenshot of the slides presentation that all of the videos are housed in. So I inserted an image as the background so that students or whoever is working on it cannot erase the background. You also have a little magnifying glass here if you want to really zoom in or you can just fit to the screen. But on here, multiple people can be collaborating at the same time and talking and brainstorming. So Jamboard really gets people talking and gets their ideas out on different frames. Within the presentation that this video is on, you're going to see a ton of different templates that we have for Jamboard. This one was one that I thought was really applicable to teachers, so I just want to share this one. The background for these slides is set with the picture of the blue, pink, yellow, and green, as well as the word. So as a student, I can go in and use the different tools. So here I would use the text box 
this was used with the text box tool over here um, to write the word setting. And then students were able to define it on a sticky note, use it in a sentence on a sticky note, connect it to three terms or people, and then they were able to draw a picture with the draw tool. So I thought this was a great way to use Jamboard because it uses all of the tools and it houses all of the kids work so nice and neat. So students can either get their own Jamboard that you could assign through Google Classroom and assign it to each student to get their own copy. Or if you wanted them to work on this collaboratively in small groups, they could work on it. Or if as a whole class you wanted to be working on it, you could do that. But keep in mind, you would have your entire class on the same document. So it really depends on what your purpose is with the Jamboard, but you can get really creative with Jamboard. Make sure to check out all of the templates to see how you could use it in your classroom. And then make sure to share on our group Jamboard how you plan to use Jamboard with either a link to your jam or maybe a screenshot or just a description telling us how you're gonna use it so we can all learn from each other on our Jamboard. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'm so excited to see what you guys do with Jamboard. Bye guys.